Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Griffin back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to try to answer the question, does fanatics really care about the sports card industry? We're going to go all over that and what I think of fanatics first year under the control or I should say Tops is first year under control of Fanatics. So before we get into that, let's plug the giveaway as usual. Giving away a mega box of 2021 Platinum Chrome Anniversary. All you guys need to do, be subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications, comment your favorite moment this year in the MLB so far, and go stream my new song. Link's in the description. And we have a new one coming out September, or I should say August 27th or 26th. So be on the lookout for that. So... How this video came about, and if you guys probably didn't know this, I, believe it or not, read my comment section. And a lot of the time, I pick topics off of comment section uh, you know, posts. So if you guys want to see me take on a particular topic, let me know in the comment section below because pretty much there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that I will cover it if I find enough value and enough to talk about it so yeah this video today came from someone who commented a couple days ago i i don't know who it was someone i get like hundreds of comments a day so it's hard to keep up with who comments what so he asked me or she i have no idea who you know they said what is your take on fanatics first year of controlling tops and I wanted to comment back to this person, but I didn't because I thought this would be a great video to talk about that. So basically in this video, we're going to talk about what's going on right now in the baseball card industry and does Fanatics value the sports card industry? What I mean by that is do they actually care about the collector or are they just trying to get a money grab? So I'm going to try to tackle that question today the best I possibly can by giving the most evidence and in, in what I can say to support what I think. So to start, I really think this year for baseball collecting has been one of the worst ever since I have started. Why do I say that? For one, print runs have almost reached, well, not really, but close to, junk wax era levels. Now, of course, back in the junk wax, there were no inserts, autographs, parallels, things like that. It was just base. The only reason we're not in a quote unquote junk wax era is because there's autos and things like that, the chase and retail and hobby. So that's why when people say we're in a junk wax era, we're really not. It's just that there's a lot of stuff to chase after now. So that really eliminates that. Price increases. This year along with everything else, has increased almost 50%. Like, when it comes to tops, they're $20 blasters when it comes to Series 1. Now, if you want to buy a blaster box of Series 2, it'll cost you, with tax, $30. Going on, we have the fake autograph scandal of 2022, where a Randy Rosarena and Austin Meadows autograph were seemingly fake, and they were confirmed fake via Tops and Fanatics. So those th three things right there should be all enough to tell you that Fanatics has not gotten under control when it comes to baseball card collecting. Now, do they really care about the collector? It's hard to say. It really is hard to say. Because if they cared about the collector, they wouldn't have included fake autographs in their product. They wouldn't have increased retail product prices up 50 percent nor were they would they you know i mean i get they want to expand the brand but the print runs that we saw in series one and the fact that series one is still being stocked till this day at some walmart and targets including mine but if you haven't watched the video a couple weeks ago my store actually stopped selling sports cars because some 60 year old idiot decided to steal 1300 dollars worth two weeks ago uh, today, actually. So I haven't seen a single sports card for two weeks in my local Walmart. I'm probably not going to for a while because what my friend told me, they shipped all the sports card boxes back and they ain't getting any time soon. So there's that. So to get back to the Fanatics. Fanatics this year taken over uh, control of tops for the first time ever. And it has been an abysmal first year for Fanatics. 
Do I think it gets better in 2023? I sure hope so, because I look at this year as a hiccup year, right? This year, they're using 2022 as a way to test for the future to what and what not do so that future releases have been smooth. Like, getting back to releases, another thing that's went wrong with Fanatics is... Seemingly, like, 75% of the 2022 product has been delayed. The next baseball card release isn't until September 30th with Archive or Heritage high number. So, there's another thing. And then, with Update and Chrome, we're not going to be seeing Topps Update until probably November or December. Maybe at least, I hope not, but latest January. So, we are definitely going to be seeing 2022 products in 2023, like how we had Big League come out this year from last year. Again, this is another thing we could add on to the Fanatics just mishap over there. Do I see it getting better? Yeah. I think they're taking this year as a year to test things and see how things go. And then next year, they saw what was bad with this year and hopefully change it for the following years to come. Because at this rate, if they continue to do the certain things that they're doing, they're not going to last. The baseball card hobby will be gone before you know it. I mean, people are already out there saying NFTs are the way of future of, of sports card collecting, which I claim BS. I don't even know what NFTs even are. I don't even want to know what they are. They look stupid. Uh, it's like a something you get on your phone or something. I think they're called non-fungible tokens. They're completely stupid. Those are irrelevant. Sports cards hopefully will be around uh, for decades upon decades upon decades. I see it being that way. But getting to this pack of Series 2, speaking of, this is the newest release, and this is going to be the newest release for, like, the next month and a half, guys. So, hope you guys like seeing Series 2 on your shelves, because this will be the newest product on your local store shelves for a couple, uh, like, six, seven weeks. So, getting to it, let's just, let's open this pack. Hopefully, we can pull a short print. Not thinking we will, but who knows. So I want to hear what you guys have to think about this discussion in the comment section, guys. Do you think Fanatics has, what would you grade? Like, let's say if we're looking on a scale of like A plus being best and F being worse. What would you guys grade Fanatics first year uh, of Topps Control? So what is this? Jacob DeGrom, what is this? Parallel to 299? Okay. That's parallel to two ninety nine for some reason. I thought it was hopefully an autograph. I think it's a black border right there. I think. And what would you know? No short print for Griffin Rip this video. So guys, let me know what you think about Fanatics, and I'll see you guys in the next one.